everyone. So today we are going to be doing a winter themed mitten drawing. Now, some of the supplies that you're going to need before we get started are going to be a piece of paper, a pencil, either crayons, markers, or colored pencils. If you don't have maybe markers or colored pencils, crayon will work just fine. Just substitute whatever I'm doing in markers today with your crayons. Um, if you want to use paint, if you have paint at home, you can take that out and use it. However, if you have markers at home and you want to use those, um, this would be probably preferred, okay? Um, also with this activity, um, you're going to want to, um, a cup of water and a paintbrush um, if you're doing the marker technique. If you just have crayons or if you just have colored pencils, that's fine. You won't need the cup of water. So let's get started. All right, so to get started on my winter themed mitten drawing, I'm going to start out by using my pencil. Um, you want to use pencil because if you make any mistakes, you're going to want to erase. So what I'm going to do is, since I don't have um, a mitten drawing out already on my paper, I'm going to just take my hand and I'm going to place it in the middle of the image. Now, I'm going to take my pencil and I am going to trace around my hand. So I'm gonna start from one side of my hand and I'm going to make a straight line going up my hand on the side where my pinky is. And then I'm going to take the line and I'm going to curve it over my hand and then make another straight line coming down until I reach my thumb. So I'm not gonna go all the way to the inner corner of my thumb. I'm gonna stop right around here to give some space in between that outline and my hand. I'm going to continue to outline around my, my thumb and then when I am done, I'm going to remove my hand. So now we already start to see that mitten shape <clears throat> um, being created on our papers. Now we need to make the um, cuff of the mitten. So that's the part that wraps around your wrist. So what I am going to do is I'm going to erase part of my line because I want these two lines directly across from one another. I'm going to draw a slightly curved horizontal line and I'm going to attach that line to the other side of my mitten. Then I'm going to make two vertical lines directly across from one another where the thumb of the mitten starts and the other side where my pinky would be uh, starts over here. So I have these two lines and they're about the same size. Now what I want to do is make another slightly curved horizontal line attaching to the other side of my mitten. And now I am just going to add a couple of vertical lines to the band that goes around the, um, the bottom of your mitten around your wrist. So this is what your mitten drawing should look like uh, once you are all done following that step-by-step. -step. If you want to go back and uh, go through and pause at certain spots where you may have missed or maybe fallen behind, that's okay, go ahead and do so. Now that your mitten is all drawn, we have to add some decorations to our mitten because we don't want just a boring, plain old mitten. We are going to add some of the lines that we talked about last class. So if you remember your line names, um, they are <coughs> horizontal, vertical, wavy, bumpy, zigzag, we also learned about loopy lines, spiraling lines, and uh, some of you guys uh, mentioned dotted lines and thick and thin lines. So there are a lot of different lines that we can add to our mittens. 
So I'm gonna start at the top and I'm going to make my line go from one side of my mitten to the other, similar to the drawing activity that we did last class. So I'm going to start off with a zigzag line. So remember, your zigzag lines <coughs> are pointed. They point up and they point down. And I'm just going to make my zigzag lines across my mitten. Um, so once you're done with one line, you can start to add some more. And these lines will create what's called a pattern on your mitten. So I'm going to do a couple of zigzag lines for my mitten. I'm repeating them because when you repeat a line, shape, or design, that's known as a pattern. <clears throat> I'm going to make spiral lines next. I like the way that spiral lines look, so I thought that that would be kind of a cool line to add on to my mitten. I'm going to make a bumpy line. And um, I'm also going to make some uh, what we call perpendicular lines. So these are lines that cross, and I'm gonna turn them into little snowflakes. So I have several different types of lines on my mitten. However, if you wanna add something different, like maybe some hearts or different shapes, you can go ahead and do that too. However, I want to see at least three different kinds of lines on your mitten. I'm gonna to continue to fill in my mitten and finish um, my drawing. <clears throat> I'm gonna make a wavy line down here. And then maybe I'll make some um, more of those like snowflake shapes up here. And now that my mitten is all decorated, we are going to start coloring. All right, so take out your coloring utensils no matter what they are. I'm going to use markers. You can use whatever you have at home. So I'm gonna take out a couple of colors. I'm gonna take out blue, purple, and green for my mitten, um, and I'm gonna place them off to the side. So I'm going to outline my mitten to start off, and I'm going to do that with my black marker. When you outline something, that just means you're going along the outside shape. I'm outlining my mitten so that it stands out a little bit better against the background. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my other colors and I'm going to use those other colors <clears throat> to fill in the patterns and lines on my paper. So I'm going to start out with the blue and I'm just going to outline my snowflake shapes with my blue. And then I'm just going to switch up uh, the colors that I'm using for each section. <clears throat> Actually, I don't think I'm going to green for this. I think I'm just going to stick with purple and blue. 
Now you can use as many colors as you want. I kind of decided halfway through that I don't really want to use green. I'm just going to stick with purple and blue for this. But you can use as many or as little color as you want. All right, now that I've outlined all of my lines with some nice bold colors, I'm going to show you the next step. 